Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. So for today, I'm going to detail the relationship between excess uric acid and excess body fat, and also how reducing body fat can reduce uric acid. Excess uric acid, a condition known as hyperuricemia, is almost always a component of obesity. Normally, uric acid is a byproduct of the breakdown of purines, and purines are found primarily in meat and some vegetables. Most people secrete around 600 milligrams of uric acid per day through urination, with an even smaller amount being excreted through bile and other GI tract secretions. Elevated uric acid is a common occurrence in those with metabolic syndrome, which is a condition encompassing high blood pressure, high LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, insulin resistance, and visceral fat obesity. Xanthine oxidase, as you know, is the primary enzyme that catalyzes purines like xanthine and hypoxanthine into uric acid while also producing reactive oxygen species and hydrogen peroxide. While xanthine oxidase is primarily found in the blood, our fat cells also produce and secrete uric acid by their abundant xanthine oxidase activity, and this activity promotes further fat cell development and accumulation, so as you can imagine, a steep decline in uric acid levels always follows a reduction in visceral fat. The secretion of uric acid from our fat cells is increased even further in a case of hypoxia, or the insufficient oxygenation of the tissues. Hypoxia is a common occurrence in obesity, and also a contributor to chronic low-grade inflammation. There's actually a name for this kind of inflammation. It's known as metaflammation, and it's defined by low-grade chronic inflammation in metabolic tissues like the liver, brain, pancreas, and of course the fat cells. The innate immune system responds to the obesity the same way as with a new infection. However, unlike the body's normal inflammatory response, the obesity-driven inflammation is constant and chronic, and such inflammation disrupts the normal function of fat. One area where such disruption is apparent is that fat no longer responds correctly to insulin. Normally, insulin enables our cells to absorb sugar and fat from the blood and utilize it as energy. So in this way, metaflammation contributes directly to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and increased uric acid. A chronic sedentary lifestyle is one of the worst culprits behind elevated uric acid. So you need to do what you can to exercise every day. Regular exercise diverts energy away from fat tissue and towards strengthening the bones and muscles, while also boosting the release of growth hormone, adiponectin, and testosterone, and all of these hormones facilitate fat's use as a potent energy source. I've mentioned before how the bioflavonoid quercetin is a well-known inhibitor of xanthine oxidase, and a great food source of quercetin that is often associated with combating uric acid is tart cherry. So if you can, try to eat around a cup of tart cherries every day, and or look for a tart cherry supplement, especially one that has the naturally occurring sugar in the cherries removed. And yes, there are tart cherry supplements like this. A high-fiber diet can also assist with uric acid removal, and because the kidneys are essential for this, optimizing kidney function with a well-known kidney cleansing herb like chanca piedra, also known as the stone breaker, is a great place to start. Also, obviously, one of the easiest ways to facilitate the body's clearance of uric acid is to drink plenty of water every day, something that many people unfortunately still don't do. So remember to stay hydrated. If you need any further motivation to stay active, remember that regular exercise increases both insulin sensitivity and leptin sensitivity, and this vastly improves both glucose and fat utilization. So even at rest, an active person is burning far more calories than someone who doesn't exercise. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.